Hey guys, Kim Dubs here. I thought that I would do a bit of a video sort of to show everyone how uh, the different types of hair that I own look and also the ways that I put them on and just to show uh, some different options that are out there for alternative hair. So at the moment, this is just my bio hair. If you follow me on Instagram, I use these cool little scrunchies to make my bio hair look a little bit bigger than it actually is. You can see, kind of just gives it a bit more, I guess, oomph. So my favorite kind of alternative hair is human hair, silk top toppers. So this one here is a quite a large base. It's a seven by eight. You can see here, it's got the silk top construction here and wefted backs. It's got multiple different clips, but I tend to just use the front ones and these two down here. Uh, you can see the top here, silk top. Um, there's heaps more pictures on my Instagram or on my blog. So this one is 20 inches long. I'm gonna show you how I put this on. Okay, so you can see that I've got this on here. My bio hair does show through, but what I've had done is had uh, the roots here added into the topper after I got it so that they're the same color as my bio hair, which makes it a bit easier to sort of blend in. You can still see, like if you put my hair up, you can see my bio hair, but a lot of people tend to not color the um, underside of their hair anyway, so it kind of, it all blends in and doesn't look as obvious. Okay, so the next one I've got is another human hair topper. It's got slightly darker roots, but it's still a silk top. So this one is a little bit more stretched out. They call it a, um, like a root stretch. This one is a five by five. So it's still got the silk top here. It's got a slightly wefted back here, but it's not as much as the other one that I just showed before. So I put it on exactly the same way. I just use these two clips at the front and I, because it's got less clips, I typically tend to just use this one at the back. Unless it's gonna be a really windy day, I normally don't wear all the clips, just because it's a bit more comfortable to have less clips on. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to put this one on. Okay, so the next one that I have is still a human hair topper, but it's got a monofilament base, which looks a little less realistic than a silk top, but they do tend to be a little bit cheaper. So this one here was my first ever topper, so it's quite small compared to the other ones. It's only a uh, 2.5 by 5 base. It's got four clips. If you have a look here, this is the monofilament top. 
if I put my hand against it, you can't really see, there's no real like um, realistic part line, but I'm gonna show you how I put this one on. So you can see with this one, it's quite a bit smaller. It doesn't provide as much coverage as the other ones do. Because my bio hair is quite dark, you would have seen at the back that it does show through quite a bit. But these ones are quite good because you can use them to put up in a ponytail because they're not super heavy. They're not gonna be pulling on your bio hair as much as like a really large one would. So I really recommend these ones for, you know, for ponytails because they're just super useful. And I love these scrunchies because they don't put dents in the hair. So if you just go like this. Next one I have is still human hair topper, but it's got a monofilament base. It's completely different colored to my bio hair. So you'll just have to Imagine that my bio hair is a little bit ginger. But this here is a five by five base. You see the monofilament here, like the one that I just showed you. It doesn't really have that realistic part line. You can see sort of where the material is, but they are a lot cheaper than the ones with the silk top bases. It's got a few clips here. Again, I really try and just use the front ones. It's just a personal preference. There makes no difference really if you wear all of them or not. Um, it does make it a little bit looser if you don't clip in the ones at the back, but I like it because it's just a bit more comfortable. So I'm gonna show you how I put this one on. So it needs to be straightened a little bit and probably styled. I've had it sitting in a box, so just have to imagine that it's straight, but this is it. So I absolutely love the color. It's just not really me. <laughs> it's a little bit too different to my bio hair. Although that being said, like you can you can definitely still blend it. So if I was to sort of maybe wear it like this, or if I sort of twisted it into my bio hair a little bit back like this, it could look really cute. You can also sort of probably wear this one up. It's pretty light, so it's not, um, it's not really heavy density. So compared to the other five by five one, this one is actually super light. Like I could probably, wear this one up sort of like this if I pulled out like some of these hairs here and just sort of wore it up like this you know you could probably go to the gym or go and do some sports or something in it because it's not you know not like super heavy it did have a lace front but I trimmed it because my hair just doesn't just doesn't work with a lace front so I've trimmed it off but it does have the lace front where you can sort of pick out a few hairs um, and make it look a bit more realistic at the front but I mean for a topper that isn't matched to my hair color you know I'm pretty pretty impressed with that The 
last one that I want to show you is actually a synthetic wig, which is super fun. I talk about it all the time on my Instagram. You need to look up hashtag purple wig movement because you'll see a whole bunch of girls that have joined the crew and are just rocking these awesome colored wigs. So I'm going to show you how I put this one on. Okay, so because I still have hair on my scalp, it does make it a little bit more difficult with wigs. So you have to do a little bit more prep work beforehand. So what I do is I just take an elastic band and I smooth my hair back as much as I can. And I just twist it around like this. So I've got my hair all like this now. Then what I do is I actually grab one of these little wig caps. And it's gonna look a bit funny. I'm gonna look like a bit of an egg. So I'm just try and like get my hair back a little bit. Then get this over my head. And I just get this right up here. Tuck my ears out. Okay, so now that I've got my wig cap on and I'm looking like a genuine egg, um, I'm gonna show you this cute little number here. This was just an Amazon purchase, it was super cheap. It's got it's got these clips here, like combs, but I've never ever used them. Um, it did have a lace front, which I've just, I've trimmed to make it, um, like I've trimmed it really badly. Um, it's like an ombre kind of look, so it makes it look a little bit more natural. So the way that I put it on, I don't actually know if this is even right, but this is how I have been putting mine on. So I kind of just line it up here. I get it to like go over the bun at the back and then pull it down like this. So this one is a synthetic. I have no idea what size it is. I think it's just like a one size fits all sort of thing. Um, you can't, you actually, no, you can, it's um, heat resistant up to a certain temperature. I'm not exactly sure what temperature it is. I can't remember. Um, this is still curled from when it came in the box though. So, yeah. Hope you guys found this video really useful it just gives you a bit of a um, insight into the different types of hair that are out there uh, there are so many other different types as well these are just the ones that I own so I thought I would do a little bit of a I guess a, a, a topper try on or a hair um, a hair try on sort of thing so if you want to see any more pictures or you want any more information head to my instagram which is kimdubs underscore i'll put all my details down below thanks guys please like and subscribe bye